first thing we need to know what is composite credit circle selling so sell mixture of uh, credit circle and parallel selling on a parallel of latitude is your credit circle that is mixture of rump line and credit circle selling is your composite circle selling So once you reach the vertex, you use to rump line and then again you, so first vertex to second vertex, you do rump line and other, uh, you do point A to B is great circle. So that is your composite circle ceiling. Or you restrain a great circle ceiling to one latitude at as rum line setting, that is your composite circle setting. So these questions are given sometimes like you have a latitude where there is a lot of ice or some you want to avoid that is the maximum latitude you want to go because of weather or some things. So get having that as maximum latitude, you want to do a rum line sailing on that and moving along the parallel of that latitude. And that time you need these types of questions solving like this composite circle sailing. So in this question, our maximum latitude is uh, 50 degrees south. So this 50 degrees south latitude, we have to go along the parallel of this latitude. So that is the maximum latitude we want to go. And then after that, we will continue with our great circle course. We'll join it. That is our vertex. So we have to solve with uh, this trigonometrical calculation. What is our vertex? Where will our this meet a great circle course meet this uh, parallel of latitude? And we'll draw a diagram. And as per that, plot the courses on the charts. So we have three routes uh, three tracks from the we have a route from a to b and in this we have three tracks a to v1 is great circle v1 to v2 is rumb line and v2 to b is our uh, great circle and therefore we have three triangles a p v1 v1 p v2 and v2 p v1 and we have these three angles P1, P2, and P3. We have this attitudes. So let's see today's example question. We have a composite uh, great circle track with a limiting latitude of 56 degrees, 10 minutes south, and will be followed by a ship from Cook Strait. That's our point A position to Cape Horn which is this position is giving from 41 15 south and 174 30 south sailing eastwards 56 10 south more south and 67 10 west so we are going southeast so limiting latitude is 56 10 minutes south which is same latitude of b so this is the diagram of our example from A, we reach to the maximum latitude and then we start rum line sailing at course 090, of course, along the parallel of latitude to go to the point B. And V1 and B has the same latitude. So we will start solving this with this, our Napier's rules and triangle to get the, so what we have to ship is reported our departure from this waypoint at the time is given and speed is given. And standard time zones of these places are given. Cook straight and Cape Horn. So 
So first, let's see what all parts of the triangle we know. So we know the latitude of A, we subtract 90 minus latitude A, we get this AP and same way we can find out PB and we have latitude V also, so we can find PB also. So vertex latitude is given, B latitude is given, A latitude is given. Now A and B longitude is also given, but we don't know the longitude of V. So that's what we have to calculate. So generally we are asked for the distance for full track that is a addition so great circle track plus your rum line track and if you have another great circle track and then longitude of the vertex latitude is known so basically for any route we need distance and the coordinates or waypoints so that's what we will find out so in this triangle PA we know V is 90 degree. So PV we can calculate, uh, we have to calculate. That means PV we know and angle P2 we need to know. AV distance we want to, cal we need to calculate. Angle A we need to calculate. Angle P we need to calculate. So at least two things, if we know in APS rules, you know, we can find other things. So PV and P PA we know. So first is D long from A to B. That is total P angle is 118 degrees that we know east side. Then PB is uh, PA that is Then PB is uh, 90 minus uh, latitude B is equals to 33.83 degrees. And PV is 90 minus latitude V is 33.83 degrees. So first we have to calculate the distance from the formula, cos, cosine formulas, you know, cos P is equals to cos P V into cos A V that is cos of opposite sides sin uh, cos of middle part is equals to cos of opposite parts that is your cosine formula and sine of opposite parts So this is your cosine formula from APS rules and this way we get your PA. So AV that is our distance from A to V we get like this 37.83. Four six degrees. So one minute around great circle is one nautical mile. So we convert into miles. Always the distance we have to give in miles. So two two four seven point seven zero miles is our distance from A to V. Then uh, we need we'll, we need to find uh, angle P. As we saw, that is longitude of vertex. So sine PV is equals to tan AV upon tan angle P. That is sine of middle part is equals to tan of adjacent parts. So tan P is equals to tan AV upon PV. AV we already calculated. 
So with this, we will calculate the angle P. This angle P1, that's what we want to calculate. And this will be our difference in longitude of A's longitude and longitude of vortex. So sine of angle P is equals to tan of PV, tan of PA, tan of adjacent parts. So we got uh, angle P and then we calculate the longitude. So 53.997 east of A and with that we will get the And that uh, we will see if it is going more than 180, then we will subtract it from 360 and change the naming from east to west. Because whenever we subtract from 360, that means we are changing direction. So whenever longitude is existing more than 180, then we subtract from 360 and we get the uh, change the sign. So you can, we'll get longitude of uh, V or vertex as 131 degrees, 30.2 west. And this is the longitude of V1 or our vertex. So we have V1 and we have the distance AV. Now we need to calculate the distance VB. And also we'll calculate the initial course angle A. Again, we put in this Napier's rule diagram. You can use any formula. So you can so, so, sign of angle A is equals to cos of, uh, of uh, cos of angle A is uh, cos of opposite part, cos PV, cos angle P. So, so that will give us angle A, cos of A is equal to cos PV and sin P1 because it's 90 minus P, so it changes into sin P1. And we got angle A as 47.77 degree. And since it is southeast, so we need to get the angle from north to zero zero zero. So we so our course that is we will follow will be one eighty minus forty seven that is one three two degrees true approximate to the nearest degree. So at A we will depart at a course of one three two degrees true. That is our course. And now we will calculate VB, that is our distance from V to B. So we are at 56 degrees latitude. So when we move along a latitude, our departure is our distance. So we need the longitude because Departure is equals to D longitude divided by your cos of mean latitude. So mean latitude, so distance VB, that is your departure is equals to D long into cos of mean latitude. And multiply by 60 to get the, the nautical miles. So we... We have already calculated the longitude of V. We have the longitude of B. We get the D long. And we calculate the mean latitude. So mean latitude will remain same as your max latitude. And we need to calculate this D long or angle P. So let's calculate angle P to or we can subtract from maximum p full p angle and subtract our angle p we will also get angle p2 that is 64.33 so that is our d long of vb 
that is our d long we in multiply by 60 and into cos 56 degrees 10 minutes that we will get our parallel sailing formula we'll get the distance so we got the distance vbs to 149.26 miles so we add both the distances 2247 plus 2149 equal to 4396.96 miles that is our distance of full track from a to b so we got all the distances and whatever we needed initial course final course we know 090 distance and vertex uh, coordinates latitude and longitude now we need eta what time we will reach from this cook straight to cape horn and speed we know it's continuously same throughout so we take the total distance divide by speed we get the time we add the time and change the as per the time zone so let's do that so time of departure was this and the standard time was this then time of uh, so that our actual time of departure in GMT we will calculate that we got at 2 hours 15 minutes and then divide total distance by 20 so we got dividing total distance by 20 9 days 3 hours 50 minutes 53 seconds and so we reach on 12th August 0606 that is our GMT and then Chilean time is so time zone is four hours so we go four hours backwards for chilean time so that will be 12th august 0206 chilean time is our eta so we complete this composite grid circle example here and we'll keep doing some more questions for your syllabus